In this demonstration, I'd like to show how to go from a voxel sculpt, such as this bust here, right on down to a normal map. So, as you can see here, I've only got one layer in the vox tree. I've done some sculpting. I merged it all in into one volume over here. Okay, and you need to retopologize this, obviously, so you can generate a normal map. I've already gone ahead and done that and I've created my UV islands, I've I've done everything here. I've also created uh, my UVs, so I'll show you that here as well. And stretch that out. So you can see I've, I've got my UVs all laid out. Oops, uh, right. Get this out of the way here. I have, um, you know, a couple different sections. I've got the ears as their own islands. I've got the head unwrapped uh, as one piece and then I've got the the eyes there also as their own separate pieces. Okay, and I'll show you the distortion here. It's You can see it's not that distorted. In fact, there are only a couple of areas like the chin here. It gets a little, little stretched but not too bad and right under here in the neck other than that, it's keeping scale relatively well. The head's a little bigger than the body, uh, but that's fine, no big deal. Okay, so what we need to do is export this out and uh, generate the normal map based on the voxel sculpt as compared to the retopologized mesh. So if we go over here back to the voxel tab, go over to the vox tree right click on the vox tree you could do any of these here quadrangulate object quadrangulate and paint quadrangulate for per pixel painting and this is the option we're going to be choosing here is for per pixel painting okay so let's quadrangulate or, or not quadrangulate select that option when it asks you on this first prompt to you know for a quadrangulation hit cancel we don't want to be doing that Next prompt, it will give you a bunch of options for your UV map and your texture resolution. Let's start from the top here. You can subdivide the object, which we will eventually be doing. Um, but we'll go ahead and do that in uh, in our other application. And I want to keep my UVs. I've already laid them out nice and tidily. All right, so next up is UV set smoothing. This has no effect if you do not subdivide it, so we won't be using that. But if you do subdivide it, all of these smoothing options for the UV set will take effect. Okay, next up you can rename your UV map and you can change, like I said, the texture size. You can select anywhere between 64 pixels by 64 pixels on up to 8K by 8K. We're gonna be selecting 2K map let's hit OK. It's going to take a moment here to generate um, all the maps. Alright. Go little buddy. Okay, it's almost there. Oh, there it goes. That was quick. Okay, so now we have uh, a mesh here, polygonal mesh. Let's go ahead and go up here to view and show wireframe. So there you go. It's pretty low poly, but as you can see, we do indeed have a, a detailed sculpture here. You can see along the ears, uh, the hair on the head, the wrinkles in the face. It looks pretty good. And uh, the details on the upper chest here in the back. Right, that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and demonstrate this here. Over here on the Layers tab, you can see we have a layer called Normal Map. We can toggle that on and off, and there's our real mesh right there. Obviously very, very different. There you have it. There's our high detailed sculpt, our Normal Map. And now what we need to do is export these maps out. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let us go up to textures, export, 
and right here you can export out a normal map or you could go up to file export model and that's the option we'll be doing so let's select uh, I'm gonna be using lightwave so I'll, I'll just save as an LWO file and uh, let's see let's just create a new one let's call this new and we'll call this new head uh, zero one that'll work alright so we hit enter and we get the next prompt here which has export options for our normal map spec color bump so on and so forth we have a couple different options here we can select a, a low poly export or a mid poly if you use a low poly it'll be too low poly to work with our normal map here and, and the normal map won't be the same as you see in the viewport if you select mid poly it will be just as it is in the viewport and that's what we want so that's what we'll select you got some other options here for the color map and the, the spec and normals uh, we won't be selecting color or exporting color or specular so we will be using normal let's change this to a targa make sure right here is ticked export tangent normal map alright and that's all we'll be exporting out so we don't have to worry about the bump or generating a normal map based off of layer zero okay and next up is create padding which we do want to do that will create padding around the UV islands on the UV texture map okay uh, we didn't have an initial node structure in lightwave so we don't have to worry about that uh, because we didn't import this from lightwave we generated this content inside of 3d code but the methods would be the same if you did and if you did have a node structure go ahead and tick that if you wanted to keep it um, right here we could select export LWO and sub patches we don't need to be selecting that right now you could also create a morph map which we don't need to be doing I don't wanna create a morph map at the moment so alright it's all done let's go ahead and open lightwave alright here's modeler let's go ahead and load that object up alright so it's in our new folder here new head 01 Let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit. And oh, let's see, let's change the sketch color to black so we can see the wireframe. All right, so there's our wireframe. It, it's very low poly. We could probably even gone a little lower, but I think this demonstrates very well what we're doing here. Okay. So let's send this on over to uh, layout. Okay, go up here, send object to layout, and there it is. Let's activate our camera with Shift C, and let's move it into place. All right, let's kind of get it over here off to the side. I just rotated the bank. Okay, right about there should do it. I've got my surface editor over here. Let's go ahead and make sure edit nodes is ticked and. 3D code will automatically create a node for you with the normal map applied so I don't have to do anything and for Lightwave say, being that I saved out as a, an LWO file automatically inverted the Y for me which may be incorrect but we'll see I believe that uh, Lightwave uh, flips them so or flips the Y so let's go ahead and do a test render after we edit the light here turn it down to about 50 percent turn off the ambient okay let's go ahead and hit F9 and there you have it pretty much just as is you saw in the viewport we can go ahead and smooth it out so it's sub patched you won't see those rough edges around the, the nose and the ear there alright so let's switch over to modeler hit tab to sub patch it we can save, go back on over to layout, and you can see the sub, it's been sub patched here. So F9 again. And there you go. Just as you saw inside the 3D code viewport. Smooth, very nice looking, very detailed.